What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle where we are traveling back to town. I know I said I was gonna do it all by my lonesome, but I figured I'd bring you all along with me because frankly, I just told you why. All by my lonesome? I'm feeling very lonesome right now and I want to go back to Gilded Vale with Frenzes. And so, off to Gilded Vale with Frenzes, shall we? We're gonna hold hands, we're gonna sing like 99 bottles of beer on the wall. It's gonna be pretty awesome. It's I'm pretty sure this entire thing is probably gonna be one of the most entertaining experiences ever. Alright, that might be a vast overrest of my- we're just going to the inn and then we're gonna sleep for a little while and then we're gonna sell off a big chunk of our inventory in the hopes that maybe we can re-equip and get ready for the next challenges ahead now granted I'm not the best player on earth so I need all the help that I can get here that's why I'm trying to plan on doing this but I think things have gone well I I think the AI just sort of yeah. it locks on to certain characters okay. sometimes and by the time you catch it it's too late because the attacks of opportunity are brutal in this game not only are they attacks all of right. opportunity but they also get a bunch of fat bonuses because usually when you're walking out of the space that counts as the attack space or the melee zone it counts as an attack to your back too which is just like ah oh, my spine my kidneys everything yeah, has been well. damaged so now what we need to do is rent a rim there it is. We're going to take the common room, obviously. I don't like the uncommon room. It's too green for me. And the rare room, absolutely not. Far too blue. I can't keep my mood up. I can't. I just can't do it. Let's talk with some individuals, shall we? I confess. I was hoping our meeting with Mayor Walt would go a little differently. But then, you have gained an entire keep. I don't think I've seen anyone inherit land that quickly since Kind the Younger read her father's will. Yeah, it appears I'm one of the gentry now. I wonder. I think Deerwood will be slow to call you Thane or even Lord. Not that you don't deserve the titles, but these things are always complicated. Still, in practice, you're King of the Keep. It will give you a base from which to go searching at least. And then, there are secrets beneath the Keep yet. <laughs> With you at the helm, it should be easier to explore the endless paths. I'm literally at the helm. I've got the helm on right now and it is super sexy. It is aesthetically awesome. So who else had a conversation for me? That old watcher. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it sure wasn't that. You said you had some things you wanted to ask him. Nah, uh, it's... Well, it's kind of embarrassing now. I just got a dumb idea in my head is all. Don't know why I thought it'd work. That's funny. That's probably the first thing I got my hopes up for in... I don't know. Years. At least I got that out of it. You were going to ask him in front of me anyway, so you may as well tell me now. All right. Yes, fair is fair, and you did bring me to see him. Those rumors back in Gilded Vale about my brother, Woden. About how he'd turned against us and fought for Widewind. Been on my mind for some time now. The thing about Woden was, he always knew what was right, and that's what he'd do. One day he set out to fight for Deerwood against a man claiming to be our god. So I knew that's what I had to do, too. It was right. But hearing claims that he died fighting for Ray at Saris, well, that got me worried. Not that he'd chosen the wrong side, but that I had. It didn't seem right what Widewind had in store, but if he really was Aethys, I thought maybe this old Watcher would know how my brother died, so I could see if it was true. Like he could, I don't know, read it in my soul or something, use our connection. Told you it was dumb. Why did you ask me for help? I guess because I didn't know you. It's hard to trust a stranger that says he's a watcher. Of course I knew the truth deep down. A watcher's not psychic. I think I just had this idea and the idea made me feel a certain way and I didn't want to lose that. Really, if I wanted to find out about my brother, I shouldn't be starting with watchers. I should be starting with records. You should be prepared that there may be no record of your brother's death. Wouldn't be any worse off then, would I? If there was anything written down about it, they'd have it in Defiance Bay. They got an archive at the palace. You've done a lot for me already, but if you could see fit to pay that archive a visit with me, well, you know. Knowing my luck, the records clerk will go crazy and try to kill me. I'd feel better with you in there with me. Hmm. <laughs> That sounds like a shrouded pickup line, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's flattering. Hey. Alright, well, we're taken care of here. 
don't know how much cash I have on me, but I told myself that I was going to sell everything back here at the blacksmith's place. Just in case, although we may have to migrate that all over once we have our own blacksmith at the keep, because I'm more than willing to bet that we'll probably end up with that right there. I talk about more than being willing to bet a lot of the time. I think I might have a gambling problem. I think I might. No, I don't have a gambling problem. Actually, I'm willing to bet, they see, I did it again, that I might. That's why I avoid gambling, is because the few times I've sat down at slot machines and things like that, I'm like, hey, this is kind of addictive. Next thing you know, money's all gone. So people said that if these are, oh, the hand is red. That's the difference. Okay, so in Baldur's Gate, these would actually be red if it was stealing. Whereas in this game, the hand is red if you're thieving. All right. Tautanu. Always good to see a friendly face. I hope the Veil is doing kindly by you. We've made good use of those supplies you bought us. Some of our best work. If you ever want to see our special stock, just say the word. The word. Of course, I'm sure you'll find something to your liking. All right, so what we got here? Ooh, hold wall. Badass. We got ourselves some super cool arbalests up in here. They still got Gina's Lance or whatever. I'll probably start getting rid of some of these random little bits of equipment around the way. How much are these worth? Oh, those are worth a bunch. Maybe I'll sell those off too because we need the cash. I'm broke as a joke right now, and so I feel like it's probably a good idea. I got a bunch of letters and stuff too. It has 13 value, really. That surprises me. That surprises me very, very much. Let's go to our stash and see what we can get away with selling. Actually, let me convert stuff from my personal inventory first over to the stash. And then after that, we'll take care of it. So the great sword we don't need anymore. The sword we don't need anymore. Hood we don't need anymore. Gold rot shoe we could probably get rid of as well because I'm not a big consumables guy anyways. What was that? The potion of spirit shield. Just in case you've got to protect your liquor from outsiders. Let's go with, what was this right here? This was a potion of minor endurance. Get a rush of energy. Okay, so that's basically a really, really fast healing potion. Like instantly, like, shabla, and then he makes you feel better. I'll probably sell off one of those. What kind of armor we got remaining? Actually, we don't have that much in our stash. I suppose I could get rid of some of these scrolls just because, as I said, not a consumables guy. Let me sell off some of that chew. We got a little bit of brew. Sell the brew, sell the chew. That's what we'll do. And then we got a bunch of books, too. And I really, if you want to know, like, my dedication to literacy, the answer is none. I would rather have all the cash in the world and just walk away from it right now. And so there it is. We got the stuff that we need. Tatter Journal can stay in there. Do I have anything in the reagents list that would be a... I'll probably hold on to a lot of these just because it seems like the sort of thing that you might have a limited supply of for later on. But that'll give us another grip of copper that we could take a look at stuff in here with. And he wasn't joking when he said that he, like, upgraded his gear. I thought that that would actually remove the other results from the list. Unfortunately, it didn't deal like that. What does this do? It's got DR12. Oh, my God. That's really, really good. Okay. So, fine brigandine is the stuff. What about a fine rube? That's actually pretty good, too. They're all pretty decent. Got a breastplate up in here. I do like the fact that everybody comes with, like, gear already equipped so that you don't have to worry about it. We've got a blunting belt. It's just a belt to put your blunts in. That's all that it is. It's just a bandolier of blunts so that when you're down in the dungeon, you can just smoke the entire place out whenever you need to. Be like, I caught up on the band of blunts! Two uses, only in conflict. <laughs> like, smooth! Unfortunately, what they don't tell you is the Deerwood has terrible, terrible weed. It's the worst weed ever. Barely any little crystals on it. It's like, eh, come on. Come on, Deerwood, you could do better than that. Oh, we need to buy supplies before we headed on back out, because we're going to have adventures today. We're only eight minutes into the episode, and there's stuff to be accomplished. I don't know if I want to explore other locations. We'll take a look at our journal in just a moment. We'll see what we have in there, because obviously I haven't done any reading in a while. It might be the case that they're... Oh, here. Hey, is he smoking right now? How do I get a smoking emote for my guys? That's sick. That's super awesome. Okay, so we'll take those right there. We will leave, and then we have ourselves for camping supplies, so that means that we should be able to stay out in the wilderness for quite some time without having to worry about anything going too wrong. It's our backup plan. Down here and to the bottom right, I think, is the closest zone exit. So we have a conversation here, too. Aloth seems lost in thought. He flinches when you draw near, sucking a sharp breath through his teeth. What can I do for you? You've been acting strange. A crumbling castle, abandoned memories, and an old man who can no longer tell them from reality. I'd say we've seen some rather strange things. And if Meowald is to be believed, it would seem you've an uncertain future ahead. Well, there's no point in speculating now. Perhaps Defiance Bay holds the answers we need. Well, I want to discuss something else. Any thoughts on what I should do next? 
Nairwald urged you to seek out the leaden key agents in Defiance Bay, yes? If his condition is any warning, we should find them with all haste. Okay, well he's got nothing else for me. Okay. Well fine then, Aloth. I didn't want to talk with you that badly anyways. me. So there's Magron's Fork over here. Did I ever go down this way? Let's go to Magron's Fork. This seems like the kind of place where we might be able to find something good to eat. It's got a fork in the name. I mean, did you guys ever hear my... So here's how you name a restaurant. It's what you make and then the location that it occupies. And so if it's next to a river, you would be Burger River if you make burgers. It sounds better if you go Burger Hill, for example, or Burger Creek. See, it works. The rule works for everything, too. It works with tacos. It works with burgers. You could be like Taco Cabana because you're inside of a cabana selling tacos. Really, we shot that wolf in the face and it didn't go down. Impressive, Wolfie. Impressive. I don't know if I should bring him up to the front line right now. I don't know if that's a good plan or not. Might be. Might not be. There's a lot of things that I don't understand in this game, and I don't know if they'll work out properly. That's a creepy-ass tree right there. I don't like that tree at all. Not one little bit. I don't trust you, tree. I don't trust you for a sec any increment of time. Ooh, Audra. What's down in the Audra down here? Can we get some treasure? Ooh, there's a dead guy. He's got himself a fine great sword. Okay, so we should probably equip that on anybody that has a great sword right now. Think she doth. Therefore, if she doth, we shall give her the fine great sword so that she will hit a little bit harder and be more awesome in battle. Your reflection warps and twists in the live gleaming Audra. All right. Do take care to knock. Uh oh. Okay, so apparently you don't want to knock over Audra. That might be a bad idea. I don't know what happens when you knock one over, but I could assume that they're probably like plastic or something. The medieval equivalent of C4. Composite explosive or whatever the hell you want to call it. They call it... What is that? A young boar? That's no good. If you're young and you're boring, I don't think you have any hope. Yes. You're going to be super boring someday. Let's just go right there. It's close enough. Yeah, there's a little bit of damage. These boar actually seem a little bit more resilient than I expected. Let's drop a couple more up in there, shall we? There it is. A little bit more damage done. Kill that boar off. Yup. Then we'll have everybody take shots at that one, too. I don't know if I should leave him with guns or put him in melee. Like, I really am sort of conflicted between... Hey, what happened right there? Ooh. Our ranger leveled up. I was going to save up money to buy another character, but I don't know if it's wise. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll let the ranger go one more episode, and then once you all tell me what you think, I'll decide what I want to do. Stealth. Sounds good to me. What do you have? Swift aim, and so that increases the attack speed, but lowers accuracy. Predator sense. Let's see here. Self, one and a half damage to targets affected by... Ooh, so basically it converts a little bit of your attack into a damage over time. Vicious aim. I'll probably go with predator sense, maybe, since it scales with damage, which means presumably into the late game it might still be useful. Let's throw these boar hides in there. Awesome. Anything over here? I don't know if I should be sneaking around in broad daylight like we're going to find something extra, like some random little cache up and in here. If there's cash in the cache, that'll make me even happier. It'll make me dash, frankly. If there's cash in the stash, it'll make me dash. Hopefully not break out in a rash. Okay, so there's a couple of dudes over here. Let's rearrange our line for a moment. We'll also drop out. There! That one! Get that one! Wait, what's going on? Oh, a gold-packed paladin. Hey. You probably shouldn't pack yourself with gold. I'm huh. almost 100% sure that it's going to ruin your next colonoscopy. Yeah. I guess I'll leave the healer back for a second. Hey. Send the bear up there just yes. in case. And then you, maybe think about dazzling some fools? I don't know. You could try and confuse them once they settle. There we go. So maybe... Yeah, let's throw out a confusion right here. There it is. And so we got somebody confused now. Who is this? Okay, so she's not under attack, so let's put her in a frenzy mode. Now that she's in frenzy mode, I need you guys all on... Oh, they all got converted to our side. That's troublesome. Can you force attack? Is there a... There it is right there. There we go. Force attack! And I'm not talking about any Jedi mind trick. I'm just gonna go... Oh, he's got spells. I want to use some of these. I want to use some of these right now. Do that blasty thing. Oh, it's point blank only. Okay. Do the skeletonization thing. Hmm, these guys are wannabes. They weren't nearly as bad as I thought they would be. Hmm. I am disappointed. 
Color, I thought we were going to have a real fight right there. Why are paladins trying to kill us, like, randomly? Isn't that a poor choice? Isn't that one of those things they try to avoid? <sighs> so we've got a couple things. We've got Ludrana's Grimoire. We've got a greatsword, so that can go into the stash. We've got a... what is this? A mace, okay. That right there, a free wand, alright. Anything special up in here? A large shield. Male armor, male armor, okay. That one is also padded armor. Got a couple of quaffs or helms, or what looks like, okay. So we've got meat right there, coins, and then we've got a letter. Let's take a look at, or let's take a look at the letter real fast and see what that's got for us. I think he looted it. He must not have. It seems I have no choice but to provide you with instruction. Radric's forces are spread thin, and the road through the wilds to the south of Gilded Vale lies unguarded. Given these favorable circumstances, I'm sure that even you can manage to handle a peasant or two. The archers tell me that Kolsk's men made south after their escape. If you should happen to retrieve one of their number, I may be convinced to pre or for I may be convinced to forgive your previous mistakes. For the last time, you are to keep clear of Defiance Bay. Know that if you cannot be trusted to acquire a useful specimen with even a modicum of discretion, I have no qualms whatsoever about using what materials I have at my disposal instead. O. Oh. Okay, so who is O? Oh? I figure we should probably throw Ludrana's grimoire over here. What does it have? Looks like it has Fan of Flames. It looks like it has mostly stuff that he already has, unfortunately. You do get Fetid Caress, though. What's that going to cost us? 200 copper? We don't have the money for it right now, but I'm going to keep these extra grimoires down here. What are those worth? Or can you not sell them? I guess you must not be able to sell them. How may I help? Do you even have third level spells right now? See, I learned a third level spell, and I can't even use it yet. Ain't that a beezy. Ah, well, my heart is broken, and there's nothing to look forward to in life. I could kill the deer if I was feeling especially vicious right now, but I'm not. I'm not feeling vicious. What's up this way? Let's clear out this entire map, preferably very, very quickly if it can be managed. I don't want to waste a whole lot of time clearing out Ren. Oh, there's a will o' the wisp over here. Let's send in the clowns and see if we can just auto attack this little bastard down. He's probably going to try and possess somebody. Usually does. Did we get him? I think we got him. Anything up in here? We should probably also check for secrets in here. Well, it looks like there's a hole in the wall. So I figure we can put our fingers in there and hope that there's no... That's what I... Naturally, I hope that there's no snakes inside of a hole when I stick my fingers inside of, of it. That's what I think of first. Is that rational? I don't know. It might not be rational, but the thought of a snake being inside of a hole and me sticking my hand in there and getting bit is upsetting to me. Especially given how goddamn many rattlesnakes there are around here. Like, there are rattlesnakes everywhere that's like, hiss, being all aggressive and dickish. I'm like, I'm about to take the shovel to you, son. I'm about to take the shovel to you. You better stop it right now. Daddy does it. Let's look for secrets. Secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets give me loot. See, that didn't rhyme, but I didn't really care because I think it got the point across. We got some fruits and some veggies. Not really what I was looking for. Gold rot chew. Okay, we got a little bit of ooh, camping supplies. Yeah, and a grappling hook that we don't even need. Yup. All of those good things that we already had. I feel dumb for using them now. Or I feel dumb for... Do they get consumed every time you use them? Maybe that's why they give you so many of them. It seems possible that they might be a consumable. We'll figure that out too. Go away, stealthy mode. Saw you in the flames. Squatting at the base of a statue is an incredibly ugly man with bulging red cheeks raked by pox scars and a scraggly beard. He is sweating as if he has a fever, but his breathing is measured and steady like a slow push of a blacksmith's bellows, but that comparison feels strange and unwelcome. The next comparison, possibly sparked by his grin, is that of a bear trap, and then out of nowhere there is the hint of alchemical fire that fades almost as soon as you identify the smell. Come to pray at the statue. The question mark is barely there as the man makes the statement the statue takes on a reddish cast as if one is holding a torch to it then slowly blossoms into wavering flames. The man doesn't turn as the statue blossoms into fire. The others are welcome, but it's best if just you and I trade words and your shadows stay quiet. Hands off their weapons, both arcane and steel. It's only you I want to trade words with anyway. I swear before the whore that is Margaret, no harm will come to you in her shadow, if that's enough of a promise for you. If not... Is it wise to call a god a whore right before you invoke her name to protect you and, like, I don't know, solidify your bond between another, you and another person? I, I, I would stay away from calling people whores. It just seems like a bad way to start out a relationship. Let's see here. Strange choice of company. Stone seems cold comfort. 
The man smiles slightly at your words, then nods, never taking his eyes off of you. I could do better, though the road holds little else. His eyes run the length of your frame, and he follows it with a sneer. Until now. Are you eyeballing me right now, Chief? Oh, it's a, I'm a mad doggy. You better watch out. The world holds many whores we worship. Respect comes with honest titles. I bet even you have gone against instinct in exchange for a little copper. Or paid for such in countless ways. But if I give offense, if words are all that are left to a man, then why in the Deerwood of all places he should have leave to speak them? I didn't catch your name, or why you want to speak with me. I didn't give it. You probably find names as useless as I do. The names that litter this world like debris are hard enough to wrap around the tongue. And what do they matter? I like debris cheese. It's delicious. It's what's beneath the skin in the letters I care about. What burns within. It's more important to me you're a watcher than whatever culture or accent decorates your letters like awkward crowns. Take pride in your actions, not where you hail from. Or how your name rolls off whatever liar's tongue coats it now. Honestly, he's a little bit abrasive, but frankly, I pretty much agree with him. If you need a title to hang on me to match your own watcher, then call me Durance. And as you observe souls, I test them. How did you know I was a watcher? He shakes his head, his hand curls tightly on his staff. I can see the questions bubbling up. Let's burn them away, one by one. I am a missionary. I walk this diseased nation with its heathen, its people so careless with the spirits of others and their own, watchers among them. Yes, I know you for what you are, and your name doesn't interest me. Names are for honest folk. And you are a crack that shines light from... another place. Was that a butt cheek joke? We're meant to travel together, you and I. Saw you in the flames. Not your face, but that soul of yours. All tightened up, like a huntsman's knot. Like, for example, would you be offended if somebody was like, You are the light that shines from the butt crack. Like, well, I like the light that shines part, but I feel like you lost it on the second half. Like that second semester, <laughs> that spring semester of the sentence just definitely didn't work for me. You saw my soul in the flames? There's things we can teach each other. If you're in need of answers to your mantle of questions. I don't force my words on anyone other than you. I don't care who walks with you or what their mewling problems and politics are. There's enough howling in the world without me stoking that fire. I won't take from your provisions, don't need much on the road. I can carry my weight, which is considerable. Many will stand against you. They probably already have, from what I can see. Left their marks, it seems. Like a trail, worming its way behind you. Well, if your stone mistress allows it, then come on. This dude's pretty badass, I enjoy him. Sure. So we need to travel. He's been dismissed from the party. And they will go back to... See, I didn't really get the full gist of what was going on right there. So anyways, I figure he probably went back to the keep. We'll go get him in just a second. Then we'll take a look at his abilities. He seems awesome, though. I like his attitude. I can deal with him. Ah, hello there. Begging your pardon, but you gave me a good fright. I thought I heard some rustling through the brush. Suppose that was just you. Silly of me. Don't suppose you happen to need some supplies. I thought I'd make my way back over to Madama Bridge, but I'm starting to think I'd be better off heading back to town and getting a few more folks together. Better safe than sorry, right? Hey, you hear something? Ah, uh, for real? Huh? All right, you fall back. Hmm? Let's get everybody else lined up real hmm. quick like. Hmm? There we go, bear versus wolf. The perennial struggle, the universal struggle, that which never ends. We'll step back on in here, all of you, begin with your avalis. There it is, and now that we've guaranteed you will not be the target of the wolf's ire, we shall send you in as well to beat upon him and lay him low, and lo, he has lain. By every star in the sky, thank you, I've never seen these beasts so bold before. Strange times we're in. Here, take these. 
Made it back to kill the veil for certain, and you can make better use of him. Huh? What did he give me? I don't know what he gave me. I don't see anything up in here. He's still walking around on the periphery of the screen. I don't know if you can zone out properly or not. I'm hoping we can actually finish this off. Maybe we'll go check out Durant's in the next episode. He seems kind of awesome, though, so I sort of want him in my party. He seems dope to me. Oh, there's a bunch of wolves down in here. Hmm, that's an issue. How may I help? That could create problems for me. How may I help? Well, I mean, if you want to, like, set some dogs on fire, it probably won't endear you to the universe at all. It seems like one of those things for which you'd receive karmic retribution, but... It's still kind of badass, too, so go for it if you want. Hmm? Yeah, you stab that dog and focus your efforts on not getting dominated. You help over here. Deal a little bit of damage to these guys with some of your cantrips. Okay, a little bit of damage done right there, and then we'll all regroup and start down here. Who's taking the most damage? Go fire that off right there. Let's set some doggies on fire. That seems to be the motif that we're working towards anyways. Flaming wolves flying through the sky. <laughs> All right, I'll take the wolf pelts. They're worth money. I like money. It's cool. It allows us to buy things. On the right-hand side, it looks like we are just running back to where we came from, although... How much further can we go here? Keeping quiet. Anything in the back? It appears that no is the case. So, what we could do right now is we could see if there was a leftward path that- Wow, we can zoom out really, really far on this map. Had I only known that previously, I probably would have already done it, and that would have helped my visibility a lot. A huge amount. Oh look, there's still fog of war over here. Yay, fog of war! I clear you out. Okay, well, we missed one plant, and we missed a ghostesses. So, Ghostesses, what are you doing right now? Oh, Ghostesses went behind... Okay, so he's sort of like wandering off that way. Never mind then, Ghostesses. I guess we can't be friends. So, there's nothing at Magron's Fork. Let's go back to... Does he stay in Gilded Vale or Cade Nua? Let's go find out. It's going to take a while for us to get there, but I figure we could at least go sniff around and see if he showed up. And plus, we got our freebie tavern, maybe, at this point? Perhaps I don't know. Hey, there it is! So, hell yeah, we've got ourselves a new tavern. Do we have to pay at our own tavern? Is that, like, part of this whole experience? I don't think I should have to pay at my own tavern. That seems like a crock. In all fairness, I own it. Like, can't I just evict the landowner and just, like, find another one if I want to? We're about to find out! Wait, that's not what I wanted. Go back this way. Where are you? Lovely little tavern, so that I can drink the beers. Hello? Tavern? Hmm. Well, that's not good. Where's my tower at? Maybe it's inside this place. It might be. It looked like there was a room in the back of it, so maybe that's what I'm missing. It looks nicer on the outside now, too. So, let's see. Is this the place we were looking for? Oh, the stairs are fixed. Oh, wow, this is really nice in here. What? Can I steal out of my own place? Or is that like a thing? Ah, oh, there's nothing in the chest. No, my life is ruined. The wilderness of the Deerwood rambles on behind the house. It does live a good story. So can I not loot any of these? Oh, man, there's nothing in any of them. Damn it. Well, how do I sleep in Zabeticals? Do I maybe... That's not clickable. So like an innkeeper? Ah, there's a bed right there, and apparently we all sleep arm in arm. We cuddle together. We'll be cuddle buddies forever. And so that one, okay, so that's cool. And then you can sleep with no bonus. That's cool. Hey. I love sleeping with no bonus. I also like it when I sleep with no penalty, so I'll take either or. My name is Blattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerdcast for the next episode of Pillars of Eternity. I'm having a blast playing the game. Really, really enjoying my time spent here in the Deerwood. I will see you all later. Hi, do out there, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to let me know what you think about the Ranger. The Ranger class is apparently bugged. I don't know. I haven't researched it. Bye, everybody.